So welcome back to this web lab course. So first, here I shall be presenting something about HTML editors. So we we require these editors in order to program in HTML. So next, in the coming slides, let's see which are the list of editors and which is suitable for us in programming during the web lab course. So we have got an editor that is sublime text. So here this editor uh, is a beginner friendly and it has got colorful schemes that where the user can choose from. It is easily customizable but the drawbacks are it's difficult and it's not possible to print any uh, documents that uh, are that are uh, coded. And no more there is toolbar or dashboard available. So let's look at the interface in the coming slides. So here is the interface of uh, Sublime Text 3. You can observe there is no toolbar as such. And there are uh, no, there is no such dashboard available, and it is a, a user-friendly uh, editor, and it offers good support for beginners. You need to just write the HTML code in the editor, and run the uh, particular code in the browser. So this is uh, one more kind of uh, editor that is Notepad++ and it is often the choice by HTML as well as language coders and it's it's a, it offers a very tiny kind of uh, it's a tiny program and it offers a very tiny kind of interface uh, wherein the programmers can code their code uh, but in spite of all these prawns listed here that is a uh, it has got um, very free interface without with no with the uh, uh, avoidance of all these distractions and then it has auto completion feature that is it will save automatically and then which kind of uh, it has a plugin options for uh, extra functionalities um, but it it has also con associated with uh, this uh, particular editor that is it is difficult to get the, to be uh, known to the beginners for the beginners it is very difficult to have a, a trial over this kind of editor and moreover it is not uh, uh, cross platforms and that's a drawback of this particular editor so in the next slide we'll see how this uh, particular editor looks like what's uh, the user interface so here is the interface of Notepad++. There is a toolbar available. Right, you have got save options and all the various toolbars. And uh, but uh, it is it becomes difficult for uh, the beginners to start up. So you can observe that our, uh, uh, different lines of HTML codes are written here, and uh, to have a uh, experience with this particular edit uh, for beginners it is uh, quite difficult so here we have got another editor that is Komodo edit which is uh, one of the two editors that was uh, described in the previous slides and but with the same label and they offer uh, a simple kind of editor I mean it's an open source it's an open source with a simple editor and language support and uh, but it has no auto completion by default and the visual settings are difficult to find it and change uh, but it it is a um, cross platform that is very uh, much important it is cross platform and it is it has a good uh, interface good coding interface and uh, which is most required for even the beginners it will be easy to grasp and uh, the coding uh, interface is really good so that is much important for beginners so in the coming slide let's see how does this interface looks like so let's see how does the visual uh, of the, of the, how does the interface look like for Komodo edit. So this is the interface for the particular editor and we see that there is just uh, the editor is just simple. Whatever file is open is uh, represented in the page with no toolbars 
and the, for that particular file you can uh, in the front page you have got just tabs as to whether you're going to create a new file you're going to open a file or open a project very simple tabs and the interface is just simple and it's useful for beginners see apart from the editors that i've mentioned a few more editors are atom adobe dreamweaver and visual studio code but um, you can use these editors it's up to you your choice it's also possible for uh, uh, for the beginners to just use a notepad with the notepad they'll just uh, try to code using the syntax as well as structure of html and then go on to the browser for execution so we'll see how is the how will be a particular html structure so this is the uh, how does the html page looks like so first of all you have got the doc type doc type not doc type uh, html which tells us that the uh, uh, page represents a html of a particular version and then the next tag is the html tag followed by the head tag end and close of the head tag and you have the content which is displayed by the body tag so within the content you may have various paragraphs you may have got headings and uh, the various indentations as well as links and images can be uh, any kind of uh, animations uh, can be created in embedded into the html code so uh, this is the structure of html so you may write this structure in any of the editors in the editor it will provide you a lot of support to, uh, as to when you have opened a tag and when you have closed a tag and various other supports uh, for uh, uh, writing a html code whereas when you are working with a with a simple uh, notepad uh, there are no indications as to where you have gone wrong or so so first of all uh, let's see how we can uh, describe these terms in html structure so first of all a html document will contain a tag as as well as uh, attributes it contains elements it may contain headings paragraphs links images table a list and so on the list goes on but uh, i'll just give you what is actually required for your uh, lab course so once we have covered that we will move in into detailed discussion about other topics extras for required for your dynamic programming